it going, everybody? It has been a minute. Well, it's been like a week, but still. For me, it's like a minute because a long time because I'm used to doing this thing like every other day, but or before that, every day. But anyway, what is today? Well, it's not Friday, but it would be a football Friday if you catch my drift. Niner hat, you know, football and all that good stuff. Um, what are we ripping today? Well, it's something that just showed up yesterday and been waiting on it. Now, one of these has bangers and I don't mean hangers have bangers uh, one of these has bangers the other ones well we'll find out and what are these said product well we have a hanger box of rookies and stars we're gonna see if the hangers have the hits as I like to put it triple H we've got a blaster box of rookies and stars and there is maybe a mem or an autograph but you never know with this stuff and this thing is hot the longevity box of rookies and stars. Might as well just be called a hobby box from what it sounds like. People are pulling one-on-ones, people are pulling Trevor Lawrence autographs, Justin Fields, Mac Jones autographs, RPAs, legit stuff. Are we gonna? Well, you know, it's ripping backs, probably not. But before we even get to any of that stuff, we're gonna rip open some Monday mail. So come back and I'll see you in a second. Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs on Monday. And uh, just a quick little, uh, I was working on a pitch deck and a sizzle, uh, sizzle uh, presentation, if you will. Sizzle pre sizzle's pretty much a trailer or a teaser of a show that you're working on to show higher ups or people with money or people who want to say yay or nay and I was working on that to get that done. Now the sizzle is done. Pitch deck is in the hands of the people that need to be, uh, the need to see it. So now it's a matter of waiting to hear from them. But also some little adjustments. You had to do a lot of budgeting, a lot of scheduling, uh, all that fun stuff. And that was just on one show, one idea, one thing that I've worked on. I have a couple other, and a couple others, and I'm looking to, you know, maybe do another one or two of those while I'm shooting once a week on this, if you will. Uh, that said, this week is going to be working on a pilot script that I had written a couple years ago pre-COVID, uh, kind of reshaping re that in the uh, post-COVID environment, if you will, and um, getting some stuff mailed out because I have a lot of friends out there, and that's what I call you all. You, your viewers, your friends, that's what you are. Your subscribers, your friends, your dislikers, well, you can go to hell. Yeah, you can go to hell. Yeah, you, all one of you per episode. Yeah, yeah, go to hell. Anyway, uh, I'm going to mail out, finally get some stuff out there. So I do have a lot of your uh, uh, mailing addresses, but if I don't, I will reach out to you. Because, I mean, I know I owe some people some stuff, and I know I said I would get some stuff to you. Well, certain people in Iowa, certain people in uh, New York, places like that, you'll be getting some stuff soon. Anyway, as I'm talking about all that, let me know, because I'm going to be doing it this week. These three uh, ripping packs... Uh, stickers we got the baseball the football and the basketball let me know if you want any of these i do have a handful of people who did reach out i will ship these to you i'm just honestly i'm just going to ship them in a uh, envelope with a stamp on it just you know it'll be easier that way if you know what i mean instead of hey what do you like oh let me get you some base comments from the kansas city royals circa 2021 now that's going to take too much time for all the other stuff i got going on anyway are you ready for some Monday mail. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna will. It doesn't fail. It never friggin' fails. Josh of Blues Clues, thank you so much. One of my daughter's favorite shows. I know I say that a lot, but she does enjoy it. And uh, Bubble Guppies and uh, uh, Spider-Man. I love it. My daughter loves prince princesses and superheroes. It's friggin' awesome. Anyway, eBay pickups. Yeah, I know. Pretty boring. So what do we get today? Well, we got ourselves. Let's see our first. It's coming from Florida. Um, okay, if this is what I think it is, this is just a base card, uh, excuse me, a refractor from Bowman Draft that I just, I didn't pull. And I'm like, you know what? For a buck or two, I think I paid like a dollar and then shipping for a dollar. And this is going to be T, no. Oh. Dude, you didn't put any painter tape on it, but whatever. I hope it's not, yeah, it's fine. TJ White, um, one of the sleepers in the draft, in my opinion. TJ White was a fourth round pick, correct? Fourth round, uh, fifth round from the Nationals. The guy had a great uh, first season. Now, granted, that's like 
rookie ball. I mean, but you know, you gotta you gotta look at this stuff and go, yeah, this guy might be good. And for a buck and uh, shipping, maybe paid like a dollar fifty. I don't remember, but I already put below how much I actually paid. But um, yeah, TJ White, one of the guys I am high on for Bowman draft, and I know people have asked me who I'm high on, and I'm actually still trying to figure out who. So if that gives you any clue, <coughs> any clue. I don't know. All right, our next envelope here is uh, probably going to be a uh, Bowman uh, base autograph um, from Basic 2021, uh, the original set. Uh, yeah, and it is, here we go. See if there's anything special in here. Doesn't look like it. Nope, get out of here. William Holmes, um, base card autograph. The only re I paid a dollar for the card, and I think I paid like a couple bucks for shipping, which, um, yeah, but at least I got a team bag and a top loader. Anyway, uh, William Holmes, the reason I pulled the trigger is he is, they're really grooming him to be another two way player, kind of Shohei, a uh, high school kid out of Michigan, and he's got a, he's, he's got the tools. Uh, he had a great 2019 um, on the mound and uh, pretty much had for every inning pitched, he had like 1.5 strikeouts, but he also had one walk. So if you kind of get there, but the dude's like 19 years old, right? 19, uh, he'll be 20, uh, he just turned 20. So yeah, William Holmes, kind of a guy just was like, you know what, for the price, why not? It's kind of one of those like, buy the card. So, and now the last part of the box that we got here is a, uh, is a, uh, it's a combo package, a combo shipment, if you will. And the combo shipment was something I saw an autograph of a guy I wanted to get, and then I just kept shopping on his eBay store. Uh, that's the one thing I always recommend to people. If you see a card you like and the guy's got a store, or a girl, could be a girl selling, um, look what they got, because to me, that can always lead to, uh, I'm ruining this box, that can always lead to you, A, getting more stuff, but also B, he could have some good stuff in there and you're not gonna have to pay for shipping. I paid, I mean, these, most of these cards, I actually don't remember what I got, but uh, most of these guys, oh, what I get here? I got Wax Hub. Remember, Wax Hub, cool. So he sent me stickers, not that I'm gonna put them anywhere. Uh, but yeah, that's actually a good idea if you're doing eBay. Uh, put your advertising in there, people. Yeah, all right, so what did we get here? First of all, great job. Great job packaging. Now granted, I did buy a handful of products. But what did we get here? Well, Craig, again, this is a great job. I will definitely, I mean, yeah, this, okay, phenomenal job, good God. All right, so the first card we got here, and now I'm gonna say what I paid total for everything here was roughly about 30 bucks in shipping. So yeah, so the first card here we got here is Kai Bush. Uh, number 16 to 50 for the Angels. You're not really gonna see it because he's got blue painter's tape all over it, and thank you for that. Uh, Kai Bush, I uh, wanna say third round pick for the Angels, but to me, getting a gold for like three bucks, and I had to pay like a quarter for shipping on top of that, yeah. Then I got the, uh, let's get rid of this box actually, Bobby Witt. Now these are cards I'm just like, okay, for a buck for a couple of them. Two of the Bobby Witt Summer Camp uh, from 2020 Bowman Chrome cards. Again, these aren't gonna be worth a ton right now, but the fact is, is when he makes it to the big leagues, having cards like this around is gonna be a nice option to have. Now, obviously you don't see it. And then we have our Tristan Cassis ones. Okay, maybe I'll just open one of these. And Oh, he did such a good job. I'm not gonna do it, to be honest with you. But yeah, y'all just trust me, Bobby Witt. I got four Tristan Cassis here, four Tristan Cassis from the summer camp as well. Uh, all top loaded, penny sleeved, team bagged, and painter's tape. Dude, you did great work. You did great work on your... And this is actually the card that got me to him. Christian Encarnacion Strand, a kid uh, out of Oklahoma State. Not a kid, he's, he's probably one of the few uh, prospects that I am, he's like TJ White, but he's like a little older. He's like 22 years old, he'll be 23. Um, he uh, will be 23 in December. I just, the guy's got a potent bat, and I kept striking out and getting his autographs. I didn't pull much when I did my Bowman draft rips, so I wanted to get one of him. So, really that's the card that got me to Wax Hub Sports Card Exchange. And then we have ourselves, our other, wrapped up in a uh, bubbles, in a box. And this is gonna be more of the summer camp uh, stuff. In fact, I think it's all summer camp. Yeah, it is all 30 cards of the summer camp 
full set. All 30 cards, the complete set in it. That's Wander, that's Tristan, that's Marco Luciano, that's Adley Rutschman. So that's the entire set. I, I'm going to take his word for it. But yeah, again, I want to say I paid like $30 or so for everything from him, um, not counting shipping. Um, but that's obviously, I was just like, I'll just keep seeing what else this guy has. Um, but yeah, there you go. There is your Monday mail. It's a lot of prospecting. It really was. So are you ready to rip some football? Good. Well, let me clear this up and we will rip open some rookie stars in a second. I'll see you then. All right, so we did some prospecting on the baseball side. Now it's time to rip open some late season football. I know it's really frustrating because in fact, this is stuff that if I recall, I picked up around Christmas time last year. And yeah, and now here it is, you know, almost three months after. But whatever, it is what it is. In fact, I don't know if you out, if anybody out there saw it, but Prism Football got pushed to April 27th now. Um, yeah, yeah. So, but hey, whatever. We're gonna rip open some football. Now, this is gonna be one of those, I'm gonna do a lot of overhead camera. A, because of editing, but B, because of fact of, you don't wanna see half the base. I'll show you the guys, the rookies, and like the bigger names, but you know, if I pull them again, I won't. That's just, sorry guys, it's just gonna be one of those days. But are you ready to rip open some football? Are you ready for some football? Yeah! All right, so, Monday Night Party. Rookies and Stars, Hanger Box. We have 70 cards in here, right? Six, 60, way off. 10 more cards. 60 cards here, two Hanger exclusive Red Scope parallels. I already put over here on the side what you can get out of here. Now the thing is, I've noticed there's no autographs in the Hanger Box. There's no uh, even possible pull of an autograph or a, uh, or a relic or anything like that here in the Hanger Boxes. So we're gonna rip this open and we're gonna enjoy what we get, but wait a Damn minute, you know what you could do? <laughs> yeah, and yeah, if you hadn't done so already. You know what, leave a comment. The comment would be, what series do you wanna see Panini say, screw you, don't even bother releasing it, I'm not buying it. Because right now, I will say, looking at the, at the current list of what's coming out, they still have college basketball draft from last year on the calendar. Unless you got, unless it's, uh, it, that's, that's a product that is only good, like Chronicles, like Contenders, it is only good till you release NBA hoops. And then after that, why? Why? So yeah, what do you think? What is a product you think is worthless? To just be like, you know what? You're ready this far in the game. Why bother releasing it? Why put kids reporters in these things a month after the Super Bowl? I know, it's crazy. Anyway, you ready to rip this open? Good. Okay, so we're gonna rip open this and then the blaster box and then the longevity box. It's gonna be a behemoth. Are you ready? Ripping packs, three, two, one. Let's rip this hanger box open. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So I did, uh, I did open Rookies and Stars hanger last year and it was okay, it was okay. And here is what it looks like on the inside. It's a thick ass pack, I will say that. And we did get a Kid Reporter, if you all cared. I know you don't, but a Kid Reporter card. Now this is not this not a, it, honestly, is this a comparison video? What do you guys think, is it a comparison? Okay, it's a comparison video. It's a comparison rip of the hanger, the blaster, and the longevity. Darius Leonard is our cover boy. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a, uh, Fruitful rip of football, lower, middle, middle, lower end product. All right, let's go, ribbon packs. Darius Leonard will show you first. Can I open this? I know it's been like a week, but can I open this, please? Jesus. Uh, Darius Leonard is our first card. I'm only gonna show you this just so you get an idea of what the cards look like. It's got the star foundation right there and all of that good stuff. Darius Leonard, that is what the front looks like. And the back, it's gonna be Matt Ryan. Here is what the back looks like. Darius Leonard uh, back, I think that's a 200 card set, uh, 100 rookies and 100 stars. And Darius Leonard, you my friend are the star of the moment. Rookies and stars of the moment, yes. Anyway, Darius Leonard, that's what that looks like. And now let's get to brass tacks. Anything good, you know where I'm going. Matt Ryan, well, you, I don't know if you're gonna be even a quarterback anymore. Aaron Jones, the running back stud for the Packers. Got Jalen Hurts. I do throw Jalen in the hip pile. 
just because that's what I do. Uh, Zach Cunningham for the Texans. Corey Davis, I guess he's a star, for the Jets. DeAndre Swift, again, I do throw second year uh, studs and quarterbacks and like real stars. So he's a hit. Mark Andrews, I want to like this guy. I like, I love George Kittle, but I want to like Mark Andrews. I really do. He's done well for me in fantasy. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott for the Tiger, uh, not Tigers, the Cowboys. Our first PC hit of the day is George Kittle. Uh, this is the exact same picture they used in Mosaic. I'm only showing that to you right now because that's the exact same picture they used in Mosaic. I don't have his card in front of me, but yeah. It's got a weird little leg shift going there. But there's our first PC hit. I'll put you over here on the stickers. Aaron Rodgers for the uh, Packers. Question is, will he still be a Packer? I don't think so. Um, I just don't. But Aaron Rodgers going into the hits. We did get T. Higgins. A, uh, I do throw T in the hits. Uh, Keenan Allen, sorry, you're a good player, but a comment. Cam Akers, I do throw in the hits because it's the second year, and I, I have a soft spot in my heart for Cam, even though I don't care for the uh, for the Rams. Antonio Gibson, I will throw in the hits. James Robinson, second year rookie, and he was the bell cow. So we got some purples coming up, and then we got uh, a bunch of rookies. Good, good. All right, scoot to the back here. Okay, I completely butchered this rip already. Our rookie is Aziz Alujari for the Giants. I was trying to go to the, all the way to the back, and I might here in a second. We'll find out. Kyle Trask. Woohoo! Question is, will he be the starting quarterback for the Buccaneers? I don't think so. I think that's purely a the hobby hoping because they're like me and they pull the crap ton of them. Uh, Brevin Jordan for the Texans. Uh, rookie. Not a star, but he's a rookie at least. And then Chuba Hubbard for the Panthers. When the guy got called to run the ball, he did well. Uh, him and, I want to say it was Michael Carter, uh, both went to uh, North Carolina, and they both did well. Am I wrong in that? It was Ch Chuba was Oklahoma State, yeah. No, there was another guy. Oh, Javante Williams. Uh, Russell Stars, there's our, that's kind of where I thought we were going to go. Our uh, hit, if you will. Um, where's he going to go, actually? Uh, Miles Gaskin for the Dolphins. Allen Robinson for the Bears. Austin Eckler, solid running back. Actually, it's pretty decent, good running, pretty decent running back when he's healthy. For the Chargers, Brandon Ayuk going into the PC pile. Josh Allen, he's a hit. He is a hit nowadays. Julio Jones wearing his appropriate team now with the Titans. Sam Darnold, uh, yeah. Chris Godwin, where's he gonna end up too? There's Patty Mahomes right there getting that, uh, Getting the Patrick uh, the Patrick Wright uh, for State Farm. Uh, he's a hit. Yeah. DeAndre Hopkins. I do throw DeAndre in the hit. I think he's an awesome running back. Jalen Rager. No, because he's eh, no, he's not a hit. David Johnson. Oh man, I wish he was a hit. He was so good back in those days. Damian Harris for the Patriots. Jared Goff. You're not a hit. Ronald Jones. And we got our kid reporter. And we go to our first. James Robinson. Okay, so we saw you, James Robinson. And then we're going to go to, boom, David Montgomery with uh, one of our purple parallels for the Bears. Make some room here. You're going to go into the parallel insert pile because there's going to be like 10 inserts in here. And then we got ourselves Tom Brady with the purple. Okay, you cannot go wrong with uh, terrific Tom right here. His not his last Rookies and Stars card because, you know, Panini, they'll just process the crap out of these guys. And then I think we got a rookie here, rookie of Trey McKinney. Bwah, bwah. The uh, tight end uh, rookie for the Chargers. I don't even know how he did this year. Upside is you pull these rookies, you kind of know if they're any good at this point because season's over. Trey McKinney going in the rookie pile. Then we did get a studded Justin Fields with the scope. We got two of these per hanger box and you can't go wrong with I think they're gonna he's gonna be the man in Chicago I really do so that's a nice little hit right there um, especially with the regime change and everything it's gonna be nice to see a guy like him get his chance to actually not suck and then we got a Trevor Lawrence scope with airborne holy crap okay yes these are not these are airborne these are inserts but this is these are pretty solid there that's I get Two damn good quarterbacks there. Let's see what uh, that is, what the back looks like for Airborne. Not numbered or anything, but scope. And then we got a chrome here of Star Stud, which is probably just a base here, of Nick Chubb for the uh, Browns. And we are in our draft class here. We got a draft 
draft, uh, draft class, if I can say, of Jalen Waddell for the Dolphins, former of the uh, a, uh, Alabama Crimson Tide, looking like he's ready to go to his uh, uh, party afterwards. He probably was. And then we got our action pack here of Roquan Smith for the Bears. I'll be giving this to my daughter's uh, uh, best friend's dad because he's a big Bears honk. Yeah, he is. And then rookies and stars, standing ovation, Aaron Rodgers. Going in the hip pile. And I don't know the thing with the roses. I know the Rose Bowl out here, but I don't think Aaron Rodgers ever played at the Rose Bowl. But standing ovation. Here's some flowers. That's right, we're gonna throw them at you. At least it doesn't have tomatoes on it, because that'd be, yeah, that would be the opposite. And then we got touchdown club here with Tyreek Hill going into the inserts. I was throwing Tyreek earlier in the season in the inserts, and I said, screw it, why? Jamar Chase with the rookie rush. Awesome rookie of the year, and the guy is just he proved why he should have won rookie of the, should have won rookie of the year, and the guy's just gonna be one of the great receivers uh, in the NFL for the years to come. And Jalen Smith with the action pack for the Cowboys. Trevor Lawrence with draft class. So this hanger's been a banger. <laughs> it's got the hits. Trevor Lawrence with the draft class. This has been a pretty solid hanger, I will say. Uh, Trayvon Morig, uh, the secondary uh, for the Raiders, drafted out of TCU in the second round with the rookie. Kellen Mond out of, I want to say he was a uh, Texas A&M um, backup. I don't think anything's going to happen there with him, but you never know. Micah Parsons, uh, defensive uh, rookie of the year, and he was in the running for defensive. I mean, he didn't deserve it because TJ Wadner and Donald have much better years, but Definitely a guy to look for uh, for the Raiders. Michael Carter, the running back for the Jets. I am uh, I do like this guy a lot. I think he's going to do some good things for the uh, the Jets in New Jersey. We've got Jabril Cox for the uh, Cowboys. Do not know Jabril, so there you go. Uh, Rondale Moore, the uh, wide receiver for the Cardinals. I don't remember what college he was at. Uh, I can't say this guy. Added to Kumbo Gajundi for the Falcons. Uh, yeah, whoever this guy is, I don't know. And then Eric Stokes for the Packers. I think he was a secondary guy. And Najee Harris, another Alabama product. Running back, had a solid year for the Steelers. And yeah, just, yeah, had a solid year. Caleb Farley for the Titans. He was a first rounder, I believe. And the last card is Ian Book. Uh, we'll see if he is the starting quarterback, but I know when he did get the chance to start, yeah, it didn't go very well. So, yeah. So that hanger, honestly, was pretty solid. I mean, did I get any aut autographs or anything like that? No, but I got, you know, I got four really good rookies here. And I mean, honestly, getting the scope, Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields, that's pretty solid. So now the question, let me get this hanger box out of here. That hanger has the hits, and it is a banger. Now it is time for the blaster box. We have ten, uh, seven packs of ten cards inside of here. Now we can get autographs and memorabilia in here. Um, we can get numbered cards to two ninety nine. So we'll see what happens there. We get exclusive red uh, and red and plaid parallels, and find seven of the hottest rookies in the NFL per box. Well. We'll see how hot they are. Um, hopefully they're actually the hottest, like good ones. Not like, well, it's, we got, we printed a bunch of this guy's cards. I don't know. Anyway, you ready for this? Good, blast your box right now. Hair is doing good. Let's go, bring backs. Yeah. Okay, now again, these are all, I picked these up at Target, by the way. Uh, blaster box, I want to say it was 29, a little pricey. Longevity box is 54.95, the hanger box was 19, if I recall. I might be wrong, because I mean, it's been like almost a week since I bought this stuff. But here we go. Okay, hanger box, we have seven packs, 10 cards. That is what they look like. And this is the hanger box. Now let's just get down brass tacks. Pack number one of the Blaster Box of Rookies and Stars. Ribbon Packs. Let's go. All right, DeAndre Hopkins, we already saw you. You are my hit, my friend. Jalen Rager, no. David Johnson, tears. Damian Harris, Jared Goff, well, yeah. Ronald Jones, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, he's a second year, I'll throw him the hits. You get to see him once, because that's what I do. Unless I pull a really awesome one, you get to see him once. And then we got ourselves a standing ovation of 
Alvin Kamara. <laughs> I like Alvin. I do throw him in the hit still, but man, um, I don't know what's going on with that thing in uh, Vegas, but man, oh man, um, I hope he's not, yeah. Got a touchdown club here at Josh Allen. We'll throw Josh in the hits, and yeah, he deserves to be a touchdown clubber because he's a good one. And our rookie here is, we didn't get any parallels here, um, uh, Kyle Pitts for the Falcons, the uh, best tight end rookie this year. Kyle Pitts going into the rookie pile by himself because he doesn't have any friends there. All right, so we got six packs left and uh, we're supposed to get uh, parallels and stuff. I don't know. Pack number two of Rookies of Stars Blaster Box. Rick packs, let's go. Jacoby Myers, we did get a chrome here in the middle or a whatever optic. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, Roquan Smith for the Bears. We got Rob Gronkowski. Did we get? No, Rob Gronkowski for the Buccaneers. Travis Kelsey for the uh, Chiefs. Devontae Parker for the Dolphins. Ryan Tannehill. And then we got a chrome here. Aaron Rodgers with the star studded. Um, it looks like it's a hollow optic, but I think they're all, if I recall from the look of it, but obviously I put below exactly what it was because that's just what I do here. That's a hit either way. And we got ourselves a Landon Collins with the uh, action packed for the Nationals insert going into the insert pile, otherwise right now known as the crappy insert pile. And we did get a draft class of uh, Elijah Vera Tucker, um, really that's the card you chose to, um, that's horrible. That's just a horrible card to choose, but whatever. Um, going to the rookie pile, I guess. And we did get a rookie here of uh, Demetric Felton for the Browns, a former UCLA, if I recall, was it UCLA? Yep, UCLA uh, wide receiver, Demetric Felton uh, for the Browns. All right, we got Five packs left. Pack number three of Rookies and Stars. Blaster Box. Let's go ripping packs. Back again for a week. And then I'll be back on Monday again. Alvin Kamara. Well, I'll, no, I'm not going to show it to you. Come on, you're not looking for base right now. Noah Fant. Really? Okay. Chase Claypool. Okay, I do throw Chase because he's second year and I think he's good. Question is, who's going to be the, uh, the running, uh, running back quarterback? Quarterback there. Because it ain't going to be Big Ben anymore. Saquon Barkley. Just be healthy, dude. Jamal Adams, who missed a lot of last year. Nelson Aguilar, he was meh this year. David Montgomery for the Browns. We did get a standing ovation here of Stephon Diggs for the Bills. He had a solid year. Um, maybe it's a standing ovation for his career, because he's had a good career. Going into the inserts, then we did get a Julio Jones red uh, for the Titans. That'd be a great color match if he was still with the Falcons, but then again. I mean, him and uh, him and AJ Brown together were great, but it was just that whole bit is like, you still didn't see Julio, the Julio we all knew and loved. And then we got Jalen Phillips for the Dolphins. And a kid reporter, which is completely and utterly effing useless. Um, yeah. How long has this stuff been sitting, Penny? Seriously. Pack number four of Rookies and Stars. This is thick. Feels a little thicker, but eh, I actually got a couple thick packs, but we'll find out either way. But if I get a thick one, I'm putting it to the side, because who knows? All right, here we go. And we did get a thick one. We got Mem. You're going over here. And we got Tom Brady. Pack number whatever. I'm just. <laughs> we got Mem. Mem. Let's go. Oh, we got Nelson Aguilar again. And we got David Montgomery again. And we got Tom Brady, who I just saw here. So right now, Panini, what's up with your allocation? Uh, you're, you're, I'll take Tom Brady's all day long. Um, but yeah, granted you only have like a hundred cards in any of these things. Debo going into the PC piles for the Niners. Had an awesome year. The guy, I mean, yes, uh, Cooper Cup had an awesome year too. And so Jonathan Taylor, but Debo definitely was and should have been in the running for the MVP. Not that he should have won, but he should have been talked about. Uh, Tremaine Edwards, Tremaine Edwards for the Bills. AJ Brown for the Titans. Speaking of AJ Brown, who I like. Michael Thomas, standing ovation, Travis Kelsey for the Chiefs. And uh, yeah, we'll just throw you over here in the prospect pile. Brandon Ayuk, there's a nice little color match and a PC hit with the red PC, uh, the red uh, 
parallel. Brandon and I, you going into PC Pal because I PC the Niners, and Kadarius Tony, the first round pick for the uh, Giants out of Florida. Um, just give the guy a quarterback. He might be pretty good. I don't know. And another kids reporter. All right, we got two packs left, and then our member card, member Beely card. Pack number uh, six. Let's go. Oh, we got a uh, got some sort of mojo or something. Kyler Murray for the Cardinals is he? I think they made made peace and they're back together. But yeah, he just. I mean, honestly. They were not a good team because of him at the end. He's a great player, but yeah, it was his fault, really. Derrick Henry, I do throw Henry in the hits just because he's an awesome running back. Jameis Winston, is he back with the uh, Saints next year? Tyreek Hill, big Ben Roethlisberger, we know he ain't back. Danny Dimes sucks. Brandon Cooks on his ninth team. We have a rookie rush of Travis Etienne. I like uh, Travis Etienne. Um, the question is, is why are you, I get why you're putting his cards out, but the guy busted up his leg uh, the you know like the game before the season started. I think he's going to be a good running back, but man, oh man, um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what the Jaguars do because they've got some good young talent. That's just they need to change some things there, and he might be one of the reasons why. I don't know. They Robinson solid, but we'll see what happens. Either way, James Rush. I'm not James Rush. Travis Etienne with the rookie rush. So rookie pile, and then we got a crusade here of. Calvin Ridley, um, I do not know what exactly, this is just, this could just be the base crusade, but Calvin Ridley, um, he is the number one guy there, but he definitely, uh, I know he's having some mental issues and it's not in a negative way, he just needed to get uh, some things cleared up with himself. So who knows, but hopefully he comes back and who knows with Atlanta anymore. Kyle Pitts had a great year, but Matt Ryan, I just, I'm not sold on that guy anymore. I think he's done, but that's a nice little hit right there. Um, Calvin Ridley, but still. And then we got uh, Kenny Nawaga, uh, Kenny Nawaga, and a kid reporter card. Ken Kenny Nawaga for the Vikings with the rookie card. Last pack, and then we get our uh, our relic. It looks like pack number seven of rookies and stars blaster box. A whole lot of meh, but prove me wrong. Panini, prove me wrong. All right, Ryan Tannehill, you proved me right so far. Alvin Kamara, who you already heard my story. I throw him in the hits. Noah Fant. Uh, Chase Claypool, I do throw in there. Saquon Barkley. Jamal Adams. And stellar rookies. Kyle Pitts. Not a bad one to pull. And again, I do not know if that's what the... Uh, if they're all chromium optic hollow supposed to be looking like. But I will put below if it is. Kyle Pitts, you already heard me talk about him, and he's one of the great young tight ends of the game. And then we did get a DeForest Buckner with the uh, former Niner with the action packed. We let go of him, and uh, yeah, well, because salary thing. Then we do have a red here, at least we should. Uh, we don't. Of Eric Stokes with the draft class with uh, the signage at the, uh, yeah, signage at the event. So yeah. That is uh, that. And then Chris Rumpf the second for the Chargers. I do not know who this guy is and evidently he uh, played a Duke. He played a Duke. Don't know. All right, our last pack here and this is gonna have some mem because it's got some fat in it. So let's see what we get. Got Tom Brady, I already showed you Tom, but you know he goes into the hits. Another Debo, so the PC is done away, uh, done okay in this box. Tremaine Edmonds for the Bills, A.J. Brown, Michael Thomas, Melvin Gordon, and then we do get our card in the back, so let's scoot to the back. We have ourselves Chris Jones, the defensive uh, beast for the Chiefs with action packed, going into the insert pile. And we did get a, well, we got two awesome rookies here. PC hit here, Trey Lance with the rookie rush. That's a nice little hit right there, going into the PC pile. And then Jamar Chase, Rookie of the Year for the Bengals, uh, former LSU product, and him and Justin Jefferson were LSU, as was uh, um, Joe Burrow, so yeah. And our last card is yellow. I will say that was probably a Steeler. Um, it is a Steeler. I will come down here and see if it is a, uh, not from any specific game or event, Playmaker, tight end, it's Patrick Fearmouth. Patrick Fearmouth uh, for the one. Year one, Pat Fearmouth. 
hey, at least it looks like it's a real swatch, not just some god-awful, uh, <laughs> just thrown together uh, thing they picked up at Dick's, but yeah. I will say that's pretty cool. Uh, Pat Fearmuth could have been a, I mean, he, had, he was the second best tight end, if you will, but then again, he was the second best tight end of the rookies, so. I mean, not, not bad. I mean, you're not guaranteed uh, any of that stuff right now in uh, in blaster boxes anymore. You're not guaranteed the autograph. It doesn't say guarantee. This is look for. Uh, we didn't get the two red parallels, so I'll have to look a little closer to see what those are. Maybe that was the. Uh, maybe that was one of the. Um, the uh, what's his butt? Um, Calvin Ridley. So there's our blaster box. Are you ready for this longevity box? We got six packs of 10 cards, we have less, but we have one autograph and one mem card inside. You can get one of ones, you can get low numbers, you can get RPAs, you can get all that. I've seen people post their rips, they've gotten um, Trevor Lawrence, uh, one of one, a certain card. Uh, I saw Mac Jones to 25 RPAs. I mean, you're seeing some good stuff come out of here. Let's just hope I get one. Let's just hope I get one. <laughs> <sighs> All right, you ready to rip this open? Good, let's do it. Ripping packs, longevity box. And I've seen how they open this. Three, two, one, let's rip some packs. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's see, I forgot it's in the corners here. All right, that's good enough. All right, so with this, again, this was $54.95. I did pick up a couple of them just because I had a good feeling about this one. Like prestige mega box option, you know, good. Yeah, all right, here we go. This is what you look like. It looks kind of like a slight hobby. We got our packs in there. Whoa, look at that, pretty. No, who do you go? Yeah, who do you collect? Yeah. All right, we're just gonna start from here and uh, yeah, I'm just actually screw it, I'll take them all out. Makes it easier, because I don't have the room right now. The, there we go, six packs of 10 cards right there. And we will start with uh, the left side, which is the first three. Pack number one of the Longevity Box, AKA kind of like a mega box, but it's not. Ribbon packs, let's go. All right, we got Sam Darnold, we already talked about you. Cortland Sutton, Miles Garrett, Dak Prescott, is he a hit? Why not? DK Metcalf, I do throw DK in the hits, and I th is he, rumors go he might get traded, but he's just one of the best wide receivers in the game. We do have a chrome here. Uh, boom. Najee Harris for the Crusade. Uh, again, you heard my story about Najee, Alabama kid, and just awesome running back. And it's going to be a solid running back for the uh, Steelers for years to come. Then we did get a, oh, we got a numbered here of Jalen Phillips for the Dolphins. Uh, number 280. 68 to 80. This is, I believe, the longevity uh, parallel. Uh, that's the, that's kind of how they call the box, the longevity box, but that's the rookie at least. So that's a nice little hit right there. I don't know who the guy is, but yeah. Then we did get a Jamal Adams with action pack, the former Jet, uh, now with the Seahawks, and he ended the year injured. Draft class of Micah Parsons for the Cowboys. I already told you what I know about Mr. Parsons, and Elijah Moore for the Jets, who I think is gonna be one of the best re uh, wide receivers. We had a great wide receiver, great. Hi, I'm Elma Fudd. Um, a great wide receiver class this in this draft. Uh, if you just trust me on it, there's a lot of good receivers. But Elijah Moore going into the rookies and another kid reporter. All right, you ready for pack number two of Rookies and Stars Longevity Box. Let's do it. Okay. All right, nothing special looks like in here. We got a Tua, second year Tua. Uh, I do throw two in the hits. Now it's interesting to see what they're gonna do if he's gonna be the guy, but I know uh, they got our former quarterback uh, coach and he's gonna do some good things with the Dolphins. Have a gut feeling. Joe Burrow, first Joe Burrow sighting of the day for the Bengals, and if you saw a couple weeks ago, I tried to pull some Joe Burrows out of 2020 packs, and I failed miserably, because I just could never pull them. Justin Herbert, back to back there, two of the great young quarterbacks of the game, and uh, yeah, as they should be, back to back. Justin Herbert, former Oregon, and you know, rookie of the year last year. Aaron Donald, 
I, yeah, I give him respect, whatever. Aaron Donald, one of the great uh, defensive players of the game and quite of history, uh, history of the NFL. Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen. Yeah, I think we got our autograph and it's a jet. Hopefully it's Elijah Moore, so I'm gonna wait. Put you over here. Hopefully it's Elijah Moore. Michael Carter, I'd be okay with. Pack number three. Written box. Longevity box. Christian McCaffrey. Man, oh man. Dalvin Cook. I do throw Dalvin in the hits. Uh, I just like the guy. I just love the guy's game, and he's just a beast. Just sue me. We got Nick Chubb for the Browns. Ezekiel Elliott for the Cowboys. George Kittle, another PC hit. We pulled you earlier. Aaron Rodgers. We did get a boom. Josh Allen with the star studded with it looks like a uh, laser parallel there, but Josh Allen with star studded. Uh, that's cool. I can dig it if you know what I mean. Get you in here in the hit pile. Got a rookie rush here of Michael Carter for the Jets. I think the Jets are going to turn things around. They just going to suck for another year or two. Then we got draft class here. Quitty Pay for the uh, Colts. I don't think was he out of Michigan? Maybe I don't know. Michigan. Quitty Pay either way. And a rookie of the stars, Nico Collins, kid reporter. Nico Collins, former Michigan wide receiver, uh, now with the Texans. And I don't, I actually don't know. Did he do any good this year? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But Nico Collins going into the rookie pile. All right. Second half. Pack number four of Rookies and Stars Longevity Box. Let's go. Okay. Now. Uh, yep, not the parallel, or I mean the, uh, oh, we got the, we got the mem card. All right, you're going over here next to Fear Move. All right, we got our hits. Let's see what we get for pack number five. Pack number five. Ripping packs, let's go. Kirk Cousins, you're going to the comments, buddy. Baker Mayfield, well, you're going to the comments, buddy. C.D. Lamb, second year. Rookies and stars, that's what it looks like. And guess what? That's going to go in the hits because it's second year. And once they get to fourth or fifth year, yeah, no. Unless he's like Jerry Rice. Uh, Quinton Williams for the Jets. Hopefully I didn't get your autograph. Devontae Adams for the uh, uh, Packers. Where will he end up? Because I know he'll be free agent too. J.K. Dobbins. I like J.K. Yes, he was out for the year with the ACL tear, but I like him. And then we did get a boom, Najee Harris. We've done well on the Najees here with the red and gold star studded. I'll have to look at what that is. That's a cracked ice. I do not think that's numbered. I will check here in a moment, but it's a Najee Harris day. I like Najee, so that's that's cool. Uh, not numbered, but hey, I don't care. Tom Brady with the touchdown club. Looks like he's doing a little shimmy there. But yeah, touchdown club going in the hits and going in the Hall of Fame eventually. Davis Mills with the rookie rush. Former Stanford uh, quarterback and ended up playing because, well, the Texans suck. But Davis Mills, game manager extraordinaire. And our rookie is going to be uh, Mashawn, uh, Nashawn Wright for the Cowboys with the, uh, where's he from? He is from, I can't tell you because it doesn't say on the back here. Nope, can't tell you. I'm terrible, I'm terrible. All right, last pack and then we get to our hits. Pack number six of Rookies and Stars, the Longevity Box. Bring packs, let's go. Okay, we got Josh Jacobs for the Raiders. Had a solid season. Matt Stafford, he, well, it's because the way their offenses ran. He had a good season, too. Ryan Fitzpatrick for the uh, Redskins. Did he play for it? It's the Washington Football Club or the Commanders. Did he play like two games and was out for the rest? DJ Chark, I know he was out because he was on my fantasy team. Mike Davis. For the Falcons, Justin Jefferson, second year, but the guy is like, just a beast, and he's another hit for me, because I like uh, Justin Jefferson, and I think he's gonna be a solid for years to come. And then Ty Kyler Murray with the laser, airborne, uh, for the Cardinals, going into the hits, because, well, he's a rookie quarterback. And then we did get a uh, Jabril Peppers for the Giants, what the hell? Jabril Peppers, oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's secondary. Action packed. I don't like. He looks like a running back in this, but yeah, he intercepted the ball and ran with it. Probably not his own quarterback. Draft class here of Travis Etienne. Okay, this is just kind of like some guy sitting up at the rafters going, "Hey, just snap a picture, bro. We're gonna use it." This is it. And Trey Lance, another Trey Lance hit going into the PC pile. Trey Lance going into the Niners PC pile down here, and we thought okay on the night on the PC hit. I mean, granted, it's yeah. All right, so let's do our relic first. 
Uh, T. Higgins, I think we showed you, we're going in the hits. Keenan Allen, you are not. Cam Akers, you are. Antonio Gibson, yes. Even though you did mediocre. James Robinson, DJ Moore. We got our relic coming up, so let's go to the back here. Got Chase Young with Action Packed. Chase had a uh, solid year, and then he got injured and was out for the rest of the year. But Chase Young, uh, just you'll be a beast for years to come. And then Calvin Ridley with the standing ovation. So, yeah, um, I think it's standing ovation because he's like the guy, if you will, in Atlanta. Well, Kyle Pitts too, but yeah, going into the parallels. And then a rookie here, uh, Tolanoa Hufunga, Hufunga for the Niners. I don't know this guy. And I'm wearing this hat. I don't know this guy, but whatever. Uh, and then our, uh, it is red card. So it's a uh, Kansas City Chiefs guy. Uh, it's a rookie. Uh, wide receiver. I do not know. Cornell Powell. Cornell Powell with the year one rookie. Cornell Powell for the Chiefs. At least we got offensive players on these so far. That's that's a that's a bonus. Cornell Powell. All right, and our autograph. Let's see here. Let's go to the back. Boom. We got Justin Herbert with the standing ovation. Okay, I'll take Justin Herbert with the standing ovation. I think you know. Obviously, we know Justin Herbert uh, was an awesome player, and he showed again why he's going to be an awesome player from here on out. Justin Herbert going into the hits. And then we have ourselves action packed of Derwin James. So we got a couple chargers back to back here with the action packed. Derwin James, the solid, solid secondary. Then Odafe Owa for the Ravens, defensive player with the uh, rookie card. And the last card is, okay, last card is going to be, it is a jet. Number 100, is that Wilson? No. Oh man, it's a defensive player, 95, 95. I am, uh, Quentin Williams with a sticker. Oh, wow. Okay, I am, I talk crap. Um, number five of five. Okay, I was hoping, <laughs> uh, Green parallel, number five of five, Quentin Williams. Um, again, defensive player, but five of five. Sticker auto, Quentin Williams. I'm not gonna open it today, but I do have another longevity box, and man, I am tempted. Five of five, defensive tackle, Quentin Williams. Ah, uh, wow, that is uh, not the guy you want, but that sure as hell is a card you want. And the sticker looks good too. It doesn't look like it was slapped on and it was like, okay, we'll just put a sticker on here. It looks really good with the card. Wow, okay, that's a nice hit. Again, I'm Quentin Williams. Not the biggest deal, but, cause I was like, he's not the name I pulled when I said I take, you know, Elijah Moore, Michael Carter, or Zach Wilson, obviously. But still, that is a pretty, pretty sweet uh, looking card there. Five of five, wow. So there you go. Uh, there is, your, you called it the comparison rip. Um, all right, when it's all said and done, yes, I got I got Mem out of the blaster. I don't think it's a guarantee. Pat Fearmuth, uh, the tight end out of Pitt, I believe, or Penn State. Was he uh, Penn State? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say anything. But Pat Fearmuth was our relic. Our hanger box had these. I mean, it had some good rookies, but it had the scope. Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence of all the guys to get. So you cannot go wrong with either one of those two out of the rookie product. Didn't pull a Mac Jones at anything, which is fine by me. I don't sound like I'm huge on Mac Jones. So the blaster box was mad. The hanger box was solid, but obviously the longevity box, that's how you're gonna go um, if you can find it, because they're getting to be pretty hard to get. Um, I was lucky to get some when I did it. Um, so I'd say obviously the Najee Harris right there, that out of the longevity box, that's a nice little hit. Um, yeah, the Michael Carter I like, Elijah Moore I like, uh, the Jalen Phillips, which, what's your deal here, dude? You're a linebacker. Uh, Najee Harris, Crusade, that's a clean look. Oh, it's number two, I just noticed on the back, numbered 142 to 149 on Najee right there. Obviously, I already put it up when I pulled it, but 
that's a pretty sweet looking card. I mean, honestly, yeah, I mean, it was a Najee Harris day and we pulled some pretty good stuff. I mean, did we pull like the big bangers? No, we didn't pull the bangers. We pulled some pretty good stuff and that's, that's, that's kind of the sweet thing about this whole thing. Um, and you've seen my rips lately, they've been god awful. Um, the Stellar Rookies is not numbered out of the Blaster Box. Um, in fact, Blaster Box, I don't think you can. No, the Hangers, you can't get anything numbered, but yeah. Um, that's our rip, that's our, we did, we, this succeeded my expectations. Now we all know Rookies and Stars, I liken it to middle of the road, kind of like above, honestly, it's kind of like a, illusions, not product wise, but just like in the sense that you only have 200 cards, 100 base and 100 rookies. So yeah, either way, I'd say this is a pretty good rip. Either way, we had a Monday mail with some prospecting. We had some pretty decent football cards come across the pipeline. And yeah, overall, I would say this was a pretty good rip. So if you see uh, rookies and stars out there, I would say do not even think twice, get yourself a hanger. For the pride, I think like again, I think they're 15, might have been 19. I don't remember because yeah, I just don't remember. Um, the blaster box, I'd say, it, you know, if you're bored and want to rip some football, because right now, good luck finding any football, especially if you're in a place where I live, where you have two or three guys hanging out in the women's clothes section and trying to take it all because they're ass wipes. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't. If you can pick some up on the restock, if they do restock tomorrow, I'd say go for it. Longevity box, 100% hanger box, and then blaster box if you, if you uh, are so inclined. Uh, hopefully, though, we'll see some packs out there. I did rem I do remember last year we saw I saw gravity feeds. Uh, I don't think I saw fat packs. Maybe I did. I don't remember. It's been so long ago. But anyway, there you go. There's Monday's episode. This week's episode of ripping packs. Um, Again, I'm going to be trying to get out some mail out to some of you. And again, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram if you want to message me or rippingpackstv at gmail.com. I already put it down there below um, if you want to reach out to me via the email. Uh, if you want me to send you some stickers and I'll just throw a stamp on them and say, here you go. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'll be doing some of that stuff and hopefully uh, working on my script to get that pilot kind of readjusted to the post-COVID times. And I'll be doing a little bit more on the other show that some of you know a little bit about. But anyway, thank you so much for watching Ripping Backs, subscribing, and being part of this world. And you know what? When I say subscribe, that thing right there. Yeah, thank you. The like, thank you. Please, thank you. Please, thank you, please, thank you. I tried to get my daughter to do that. She's good at it. Uh, notification bell, whatever. You actually, you might want to push it now because then you're gonna be like, when the hell is he putting another one out? Well, as of right now, it'll be next Monday. What am I ripping? I got no clue, but I'll be ripping something next Monday. And hopefully, you know, we'll get a little bit more normalcy then, but yeah, I just gotta get a little things going here on the career front because it's been very stagnant and now things are kind of moving at a uh, better pace. There you go. Uh, again, thank you so much for everybody. Thank you for be caring. I'm being very serious here. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and thank you. Thank you so much. You're all my friends. And that sounds pathetic and stupid, but you are. You're all my friends. Thank you again for watching Ripping Packs. Come back Monday. I don't know what I'm opening. And until then, always rip some packs.